Now let's turn our attention to Haiti. The Caribbean nation is being overrun. Armed gangs are besieging the capital, Port-au-Prince. The police force is on the back foot. Thousands of residents are fleeing the violence. But where is the government? The Prime Minister is trapped outside the country. His name is Ariel Henry. He tried to land in Haiti but could not. The international airport is under attack. The gangs have been targeting it. They forced Prime Minister Henry to divert his flight. He tried to land in the neighboring Dominican Republic, but he was denied permission. So today he turned, turned up in Puerto Rico and landed finally. It's utter chaos. Amid all this, an ultimatum has been issued. It comes from the spokesperson for the gangs. If Ariel Henry doesn't step down, the country will suffer a genocide. If Ariel Henry doesn't step down, if the international community continues to support Ariel Henry, they will lead us directly into a civil war that will end in genocide. That's Jimmy Cheridzia, better known as Barbecue. He was an elite police officer. Now he is the spokesperson for Haiti's gangs. They've joined hands, the gangs. They call themselves the Regroupement Vivre Ensemble. They're orchestrating this rampage. They've taken control of Haiti's capital. 80% of it is under their control. And now they're threatening to launch a civil war and genocide. The gangs say they have a just cause. The ouster of the elected, unelected prime minister, Ariel Henry. Now, Henry is both prime minister and acting president. He took charge in 2021 after Haiti's last president was assassinated. In fact, let me rephrase that. Henri was put in charge by an international coalition. So he's not a democratically elected leader, yet he's been clinging to power. He keeps delaying elections and extending his unelected mandate. He was supposed to step down last month, but he's extended his rule till 2025. This has bred resentment, and Barbecue and the gangs are using that to justify their actions. But before you paint them as some Robin Hood figures, listen to this. The armed gangs forced us to leave our homes. They destroyed our houses and we are on the streets. I'm a motor taxi driver. I was resting. There was a burst of bullets and I was hit on the foot. At this very moment, heavily armed bandits are storming my shop. Oh Lord, please don't let them set fire to it. Fifteen thousand people have been displaced in the violence. That's according to the United Nations. Many of these people were already living in shelters. Now they're homeless again. Meanwhile, barbecue is not showing much remorse. The international community, especially the United States, Canada, France and the core group will be responsible for all the people who die in Haiti. He's happy to shift the blame to other nations while he makes videos with a gun in hand. Uh, there's not a single gun or bullet that's manufactured in Haiti. Almost all of it comes from the United States. A lot of it directly from the port of Miami. So the U.S. is partly to blame for Haiti's right. troubles. What are they doing to make amends? They're doing what America does best, throw money at the problem. They've pledged $200 million to set up a multinational task force, but that force has not been formed yet. Meanwhile, Haiti is crumbling as we speak, and it isn't getting nearly enough help. Look at the UN's fund for Haiti. It's received only 2.5% of the required donations. Neighboring nations are also turning their backs on Haiti. Let me show you a map of the country. Haiti is on the island of Hispaniola. It shares the island with the Dominican Republic. And this neighbor is being of no help. They wash their hands of the matter, even refuse to let the Haitian prime minister land in their country. Dominican Republic is fortifying its border with Haiti. They do not want refugees. We will never accept refugee camps in our country. That is out of question. Haiti was once called the jewel of the Antilles. But now that jewel has lost its luster. The world has lost interest and it has been abandoned. 